the situation with Councillor Maglioka has highlighted two or three really critical things about our process. Number one is that I didn't know, and I think no member of council knew, that when expenses were paid centrally, in other words, not out of the office budget, but out of all of the councillors' budgets, that the disclosure was not to the same level as the office disclosure. So we got to fix that. Number two is that we never had written into our policy what happens if the integrity commissioner has to recuse himself. And he was right to recuse himself. Judges recuse themselves all the time. It just goes to the next judge. Uh, but we only have the one integrity commissioner. So we have to figure out what the process is for Councillor Maglioka and then what the process might be should this ever happen again. Uh, and then number three is it's always a good opportunity to continuously improve our policies and processes. And to the extent that this said that we might need to be more checks and balances on expenses, this is a chance to look at that. So those are the three things that Council will be discussing on Monday. I think you're going to see three different things coming back. Uh, number one is that the auditor or the special investigator that the auditor hires, I assume will have the same breadth of responsibilities as our integrity commissioner, which means that a public report gets sent to council and that report can contain recommendations for sanction. Uh, then council has to make a decision on sanctions. We don't have a ton of power to actually sanction people. Most of the sanction is the public report itself. Um, the, the court of public opinion, if you like. Uh, number two is we'll get a report back from the city manager recommending improvements to our process, closing those loopholes. I'm not anticipating that'll be very, very complicated or controversial. Just some changes to policy that will be required uh, that council will have to vote on. And then number three will be should the kind of surface level look see into the other councillors and myself turn up every, anything, then there's a question of how to move forward with that. You know, the FCM matter has been investigated. It wasn't us who investigated, it was the media that did the hard work. But ultimately, we know what happened at FCM. And what we need to do is, make, is have a ruling on whether or not that that, those actions violated our code of conduct and what sanctions are appropriate. But we already know about the FCM stuff. So the question is, is there anything else? And ultimately, council said, for that councillor, we need to see if there was a pattern of behaviour here.